This is an Interboat Intender 950 cabin. Now you might think we've had one of these on the channel before and you're close. We sort of have. We've had the Cabrio version. This is the cabin version. Now the big difference is on the Cabrio it was pretty much all open boat with a very very tiny area at the front which just had a loo in it and a bed in it. This is designed for weekending and you'll see the difference when we go inside. These are Dutch built. It's very much the sloop style actually and in fact you can if you prefer have the wheel at the back in the center like the one next to us. This one's got the console halfway down, so it just depends on what you want. We're gonna head on board and do a quick tour. This one shouldn't take too long. It's a pretty compact boat. We've got a bit of storage underneath here. Give that little fella a twist. That opens up like that, that's very helpful. Deck gear, that kind of stuff. And obviously there's some bathing area at the back. There's a transom shower on this one as well. These are very popular on the river, but in fact you can run these on the coast too. And I'll explain about the performance when we start looking at the engine. Now we've got the backrest here obviously to make seating, but what you can do with this, it just lifts out on poles and those poles can drop into these sockets here. And what that means is you've then got a full length sun pad all the way back. So that is quite a nice feature. As mentioned, if you want the helm in the centre, you can have it. This one's got the console over on the starboard side. We'll take a quick trundle around the decks first, I think, and then we'll go inside. So this canopy, of course, will come off. <laughs> the weather's been a bit iffy, so I think they're hedging their bets today. And we can come onto the bow. We've got the electric anchor winch. We've got fender baskets up here. And the anchor there right up on the stem. That's how she looks from here. Of course, you can come all the way around on this deck. Let's see if we can wander back down this way, shall we? Yeah, there we go. And then, just like the Cabrio, there's a massive amount of cockpit space. Slightly less because the Cabrio went further forward, and you'll see the difference and the advantage of that on this one with regard to interior accommodation in a minute. But big seating area around here, table of course that demounts if you wanted to. Helm is over here pretty straightforward just got your engine control your bow thruster on this one a nice carbon fiber wheel that's rather smart and then your multi-function display is there as well and some of the basic switch gear is down here too and the Yamaha um, diesel engine control is there then there's galley area here it's not really called on blur cooking but certainly for making a nice picnic it's absolutely fantastic there's a hob there there's a fridge and then you've got the sink just here, a bit of storage underneath. But this is the big difference. If you remember the last one, it was just literally a kind of a bed that went back under the seat and a loo and they were in the same compartment. On this one, you have got a separate toilet compartment, which if you are staying overnight, is clearly <laughs> something of an advantage. So that's in here. There we go. It looks like there's a little shower that comes out of there. Yeah, fantastic. Drain down there. Pretty good, even a little mirror. <laughs> Brilliant. Switch panel down here, jet going overhead, fusion stereo, Everts packer heating. And then, yeah, double bed here, but there's obviously an infill section here you can take out. So if you want to have that as like two singles, then you can do. And there's that hatch we saw from the outside. A bit of storage in here as well. It's brilliant, really, for just pottering off down the Thames, you know, take off down to Henley or somewhere. Spend a night or two on board, pot her back again. But as I say, if you want offshore performance, you can have it because it's surprising how big an engine they'll put into this. So if we come down here, if you want to take this hatch up or lift this hatch up, you just need to remove the top of that, which is a little bit tricky one handed and holding a GoPro. So I'm going to use some magical editing <laughs> to do that. So underneath here is a Yanmar. 110 horsepower engine. It's a shaft drive and it's a very river friendly engine this one. It's about 10 knots flat out and about a 6 knot cruise. Range we're not sure but I'm going to guess on this because <laughs> you so little fuel you're probably up around four or five hundred miles I would have thought. Um, but what you can do with this boat if you wanted an offshore version you can have one with a Volvo 320 horsepower engine and that takes the speed up to 26 knots. So if you need the performance and you want to put this on the coast you can have it. Yeah, that is a pretty uncluttered engine room, isn't it? Brilliant. Let's magic that back down. And there we go, that's back down again. Draw fridge down here, so you've got a bit more refrigeration, plus the one obviously that we saw up there. 
And that really is about the size of that. That is a really nice, what I would call a picnic boat, sort of thing you just go and pot around on for a day, but with that bigger cabin, it does give you that genuine overnighting capacity. Massive thanks to Bow White Marine, they organised this tour. Huge thanks, of course, to you guys for watching it. Let me know what you think of that one, and we'll catch you on one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.